Hello guys, my name is Victor and here is another quick tip tutorial for you. This time I will show you how to create any 3D flat object from a simple image that you may find in the internet. So to create this 3D grid, I was using the image which is looking like this. I found this image somewhere in the web for free and this is a very low resolution image 512 by 512 and this is jpg format so even if this is very low resolution we can still work with that we'll change the resolution in the photoshop but to make the 3d object we have to use scalable vector graphic this format allows us to create 3d object from a simple image for this tutorial we're going to be using three programs blender photoshop and gimp so they have to be downloaded on your computer for you to follow this tutorial and I'll show you how good this grid is looking like in my renders. So this is the same grid. And here is the top view. So firstly, to work with that, we have to jump inside of Adobe Photoshop. So just grab this image, import it inside of the Photoshop. And now unlock this layer. And press Ctrl plus to see what we have here. As you can see at the moment, we have jagged edges uh, for this hexagon shape. For these holes of the grid and this is doesn't work good so we have to change the resolution of this image we have to go to the image image size and change the resolution to something like 600 I press ok and now we can see we don't have jagged edges for this image we can now press uh, and choose magic panda tool and select these holes so press delete button and now as you can see our image has smooth edges because we've changed resolution so our 3d object will have smooth edges as well now for this to work we'll have to change the color of this grid the gray color is not gonna work so we have to go to layers layer style color overlay and change the color to pure black click ok now deselect by pressing ctrl d so now everything created and we can change the format of this image to scalable vector graphic. I was trying to make this in Photoshop, but it doesn't work for some reason. So we have to go to the GIMP and make this. But in the Photoshop, we will change the format to PNG. So save as, change the name, something like black grid and choose the format PNG and save it. Choose the directory where you want to save it. Now we'll have to go to another program which is called GIMP. This is the free program. So to create our SVG format, we'll have to import our PNG image inside of GIMP. So import that and on the left panel you can see that icon which contains three different colors. Select it and hover over the black color with your mouse and left click to select this black color. Now we'll have to go to select to path. Now once it's done we have to go to this panel press this, select this and right click export path and we have to name it, choose any name you want, I'll name it black grid and SVG, this is very important. Now we can go to the blender, I'll delete my previous grid, let's go to the top view, file, import and you have to choose scalable vector graphic, if you cannot see that you go to the file, user preferences and you will have to enable in the add-ons panel import export scalable vector graphic add-on format so now you can do that file import scalable vector graphic and choose the directory where you saved your svg file click import svg at the moment it will look like nothing happened but once we zoom in by using scroll wheel on your mouse you can see that our grid is created, but at the moment it's too small, so we'll have to scale it. Now we can go to the curve option, so now press 2D and both. This is looking still flat, but we'll have to go to this section and we'll have to extrude it. So change this value, I found that these numbers are giving us the thickness that we want. Now once this object is created we can go to the camera view, let's add a sun lamp, change the strength, something like 10,000, position your sun lamp, let's change the color of the grid, we use shader glossy.
and you can see how this is looking like. Now at the moment this is a curve object, but we want to create the mesh from this. For this press Alt C, mesh from curve. Now one more tip guys, if you go to the edit mode, you can select these edges from inside, go to the faces, press Alt left click your mouse and now you can go to select select similar polygon sides and you have selected all of these inside faces and this is very useful if you want to change for example the material for only these inside faces so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and see you next time